Introducing the other way. Introducing first the challenger from East Yorkshire, England. Weighing in at 215 pounds, he is the professional Nathan Cruz. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the PWI International Ultra J Champion, the Southern Savior, John Schuyler. Hebron Hall is the host to a matchup that arguably could headline an arena. Tonight, these people are getting a treat, and I'm excited to be part of it with you, Tommy. Absolutely. I mean, these two fierce competitors, two of the top tier talents on the independent scene today, uh, international talents, let alone, and uh, John Schuyler and Nathan Cruz. This should be a phenomenal match, folks. A little bit of history between these two men. It was six years ago. These guys were hanging out together in England while Schuyler was over there cutting his teeth. So they are no strangers to one another here. Expect to see a catch as catch can match a showmanship here. Who will prevail? And of course, like you said, they've known each other for six years. Every time Skylar goes to England, he crashes at Nathan Cruz's flat. Every time that Cruz comes to America, he stays at John Skylar's house. These two men are, I don't want to say they're brothers, but they're definitely pretty close friends. Nathan Cruz able to get the better side of that exchange now with the wrist control here. Not a lot of guys in the U.S. can keep up with a guy like Cruz. Skyler is one of them here, as you're seeing. So he takes him over. I mean, is that going overseas to get training? That's John Skyler went to England to learn this craft, and he learned a lot, especially taking on guys like Nathan Cruz overseas and bringing this match here to America. Yeah, but the head scissors now by Cruz forcing the break from Skyler. Skyler able to escape. Very impressive exchange from both of these men. Now, in your personal opinion, do you think that John Schuyler should be having this competitive of a match the night before he takes or challenges for the title of Mr. PWX? Now, that I'm not going to argue with you on because, to be honest, again, Nathan Cruz, given the background of this young man here, and you're seeing it right now from the point of view of what he can do wrestling-wise, albeit Schuyler not just keeping up. In fact, Cruz, see a little bit of a getting a little upset there. I mean, this is his career right now. I mean, if John Schuyler rips that arm out of socket, Nathan Cruz's career just lost six months. A little bit of frustration as these guys lock up again. So to finish answering your question, here, here's the reality. For some guys, a matchup like this would help warm them up for tomorrow. Problem is, a loss tonight kills his momentum, takes away his championship, and an injury, even more so, would really put him in the red going into Rise of a Champion. And right now, he might... He might sustain an injury right now, especially with the way these arms are getting bent in that ring right now. Now he's being turned into a human pretzel, but Skyler able to escape, get in control of the head here of Cruz. I think a lot of people underestimate what it takes when it comes to this exchange of holds and being able to really try to escape the strength, the constant stress on all of your muscles. Oh. What a right hand oh. from Nathan Cruz. Not what I expected, but, man, super effective. He might have broken John Schuyler's nose with that one. That was a clean oh. shot, almost hitting him on the butt. Uh, yeah, Schuyler's stunned. Uh, Cruz, we're seeing some aggression here. You know, and I understand when you're in a battle, what a chop. You know, the temper's flare, and you're seeing it out from Schuyler. Chop of his own here. I'm starting to get the vibe like after this match, no one's going to be crashing at anyone's houses tonight. I don't know if I'm going to be arguing with you on that one here as these two guys locking things up. Official Kevin Pierce needs to get in between these guys. My goodness, what a knee to the midsection from Skyler to Cruz. Skyler saying you might have your English style of stretching people out, but Skyler showing good old Southern style, hitting them with a good old fashioned kitchen sink. Definitely an away game situation for Nathan Cruz here as he challenges for that PWI Ultra J Championship. Skyler arguably with everything to lose as he chops Cruz in the corner here. But you know what? Think about the prestige of victory here tonight at Pure 11 for Skyler as he hits a European with a European uppercut. You proud of that? Well, you could tell I looked at you.
I mean, right now, Skyler has seemed to have taken over control of this match. Oh, but Cruz had it well scouted. But Skyler with the rebuttal. Drop toe hold here, holds on with his foot. Very impressive. Cruz cannot escape right now. He moves in the wrong way. Could be an injury situation. And finding himself caught now by Skyler and luckily getting to the ropes does Cruz. What ring awareness there by Nathan Cruz. But John Skyler, very impressive the way he was able to use his foot to hold on to his opponent's foot. Absolutely. You can see Cruz right now shaking that leg out, trying to rattle loose some of those fish and chips he's got going on. And look at the shape of the Cruz as, dare say, a little bit of a cheap shot there from Cruz to Skyler. Using the ropes with advantage with that backdrop. That beautiful homage to the great Tully Blanchard. Beautiful backdrop suplex. I feel, I feel really terrible though right now, TA. Go on. Because I feel like I should be calling his match, you know, so that he could understand it in his native tongue. So right now, since he's got the advantage, I'm going to tell him so when he watches this back how, he, how he's winning right now. So right now, Knight the Cruise has hit a stellar uppercut. See, so look at that. Six years later. Oh, no. Yeah. Skyler fighting back right now, but Nathan Cruz keeping control and definitely tempers have flared in both cases here. Cruz was the first one. He perfectly delivers that pinfall. And a one count. See, I like it when he yells stuff. It makes me want to talk like he does. He, I'm pretty sure he just said something really, really offensive to the ref. And I dare say, I think I see some blood in the mouth of John Skyler. It's a very physical matchup between these two athletes here. Let's hope it's his own blood, not his opponent's. And another chop. And all the questions you had about John Skyler and having a having a matchup yes, like Governor. this, having a matchup like this before having to face Ethan Case. Honestly, right now this is all Nathan Cruz. I mean, I feel like. Skyler right now just doesn't want the title of Mr. PWX because the way he's getting beat up right now, he might not be able to compete tomorrow. No, he, he truly may be coming in with a loss tomorrow, but if you look at the face of John Skyler, tells the story here. Starting to fire back up, trying to fight off Nathan Cruz. Chop in the corner. And once again, using that Southern style of getting your man in the corner, chopping him, beating him down instead of trying to stretch him out. The boot from Skyler catching Cruz. Cruz might be missing a few teeth there. He's probably bleeding in the mouth now, too. Yeah, schoolboy, not enough to keep him down. Caught him off guard, though. Ducks the clothesline, but the high knee connects of Cruz. And another man here in the case of Skyler having to count his teeth. Absolutely. So I really do wonder, what's Ethan Case doing right now? Not having a match like this, that's for sure. Right now, I think Ethan Case has the advantage going into Rise of a Champion, especially if this match continues the way it continues. Going to the well again with that Tully Blanchard, as you put it earlier here, but Skyler was able to escape. Oh! Yeah, Inzaguri catching him, and you can see the tape kind of saying, hey, get me here in the shoulder, as that missile drop kick coming off the ropes from Skyler, able to create at least momentarily some relief for him, but you can see both of these men now having to answer that 10 count. And both men are, they're gasping pretty hard right now. They've been going at this for a few minutes. They've been beating the ever-living tarnation out of each other. It takes a lot out of you. It really does. And that's the thing, again, I think people underestimate, as Nathan Cruz answers the count first, how much conditioning it takes to have a matchup like this. As Skyler catching him, and again, Skyler showing he's got a lot, a lot of fight left. Beautiful move delivered by Skyler and kips back up to his feet for all these pure fans in attendance tonight. We're finding out what John Skyler's made of right now. He's getting ready to go after Nathan Cruz. And that running European uppercut here. Europeans here, European. Hey, I got it. Look at Skyler catching himself in the corner. Cruz didn't realize it at first, he just ate a boot. Oh, uh, what's Skyler doing here? Both men going over, but Skyler holding on. Is he gonna skin the cat? Yes, he does. 
You know, if he had done that last month at Battlefield X, he might have won. Zing. Skyler comes up and over, taking out Cruz, and you can hear Pure Faithful getting behind this. And John Skyler, the fans here love him. They've, it's been a love-hate relationship for a long time, but right now it's a lot of love. And John Skyler, or Nathan Cruz, I'm sorry, is not going to be loving what John Skyler is about to do next. A ah, huge elbow here, catching him in the center of the ring. Is this it? And yep. a two count only. Kick out from Nathan Cruz. And senior official Kevin Pierce, I mean, that was that was pretty close. Skyler getting these fans to rally behind him. Cruz and Cruz, I don't think he knows what country he's in. I think he's fight. I think he thinks he's fighting somewhere overseas. Skyler's definitely getting ready to attack. Caught the foot. Did Cruz rolls him up? Great job. Tries to use the ropes. <laughs> Referee Pierce saw it. And that's why he's the senior official. And Cruz uh, losing his composure here. Shouldn't be arguing with the referee. Could get himself disqualified. Oh, he's a boot. Beautiful super kick. Spike DDT. One, two, and three. What does it say about Nathan Cruz able to kick out here? Skyler's shocked. You would think that they're going on to compete for the Pure Championship, the way these two men are fighting each other and trying to stay in this match. Oh, the reality is this is for the PWA Ultra J Championship. Internationally recognized body here. PWX a part of it. Skyler wants to hold on to that prestigious championship here. Cruz is definitely in trouble. I left you an opening for the European joke, but you didn't go for it, but here we go. Catches the man, neck first, oh, does this, Cruz. This could be it for Skyler. We could have a new champion right here. This continues. It is going to be all she wrote. Got the arm into a cross face. Yep. New champion, center of the ring, Tommy. There it is. Skyler has in no man's land right now. Not close to the, any ropes right now. Now, this is absolutely, this has got to be it right here. Absolutely bad for the champion, challenger has him exactly where he wants them. And once again, this strategy of stretching your opponent out. And Skyler's totally forgot that he's got a match tomorrow. If he is a disciplined shoulder, how's he gonna compete tomorrow? Now, Cruz is in action tomorrow as well, and he might be coming with the PWI Ultra J Championship with him. If John Skyler isn't able to get out of this, trying to get to the ropes, and he does just barely make it with his foot. I mean, that's veteran awareness right there, to know to shift your body out and use your legs. Most guys will continue to try to reach with the arm. Skyler, the crafty veteran that he is, use all of his body to get out of that hold. Cruz now has to continue this offensive. Gabe Skyler perhaps a little bit too long here. But Skyler's already back to his feet, catches him with an elbow. Yeah, I think Cruz definitely lost a tooth. He's been checking his mouth a lot right now, and that's definitely going to hinder him in this match. Yeah, jumping forearm here. Not enough to stop Nathan Cruz. Is this going to be it? The Michidoku. One, two, and th two count only. You can see Nathan Cruz now. Insistent that was three. The referee's decision is final, though. And again, Nathan Cruz, no stranger to gold. Uh-oh. Now this 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 is my type of this is my type of tactic right here. Take that turnbuckle pad off and take him out of the good old fashioned way. Trying to expose the uh, steal there, and he was caught by the referee. Sucks to get caught with your hand in the cookie jar now, doesn't it? Yeah, and referee Pierce now trying to fix the turnbuckle. But a low blow! Oh! Wait, no, caught! Caught by Skyler! It's like they say you can't BS a BS or Skyler saw that coming. Referee! Kevin Pierce taken out there. Irish whip from Cruz throws Skyler right into him. We have no official right now. You know, traditionally, most people would think Nathan Cruz has the upper hand in this moment with no referee. But if I know John Schuyler like I know John Schuyler, this is when he excels. Cruz begging off. And able to use that moment to throw Schuyler out, but I don't think he realizes Schuyler landed on his feet. Slingshot spear. 
This might have been One, it, but there's no two, official. Three, four, five. He did that in honor of King Kong Bundy. I, I was honestly like, oh, that was good. It's about to question how high you could count, but we'll throw it to Bundy. God rest him. And right now, it looks like senior official Kevin Pierce is out cold. And Nathan Cruz seems to be looking for some sort of, what, what are you looking for? What's he looking for? He's, don't come near us. He's going after your photo. I think he just wanted to see Penelope. Oh, one of the belt. He's got the title. Oh, this is not bode well for Johnny Boy. Skyler ducks the belt. And the right hand there, jabbing the man. Looks like he's trying to hit him on that button and gets him with that knee. Could you imagine if the title had physically hit John Skyler, but right now Cruz is still in control. He's got the belt again. You got to be kidding me. And he did hit him. That time Skyler did not see it coming. He did not have that scouted at all. Nathan Cruz trying to help the official. My goodness, not like this. Oh, oh my God. One, oh, two. Hurry up, ref. Hurry up, ref. We had a new champ. We had a new champ. John Skyler just gets a shoulder up and here's the reality kevin pierce it's a miracle he could even count yeah but we have a new champ as far as i'm concerned nathan cruz just won that match it was a slow count via senior official kevin pierce. look cruz is the one that threw skyler into the referee to begin just used the title to take out the champion but whose body hit the ref whose body was it that hit the ref skyler should have been disqualified right then and there and as cruz muscles him into the center of the ring Mal intent. Are we about to see a new PWI Ultra J champion? No! Counter pitfall! Ooh. And oh, tried to get him in that crossface maneuver again. Smart move by Skyler with the counter into the pin. Flurry of action here. Skyler again with the wherewithal here. It's that spear. Is this it? Two and three. He got him. Your winner of the match and still the PWI International Ultra J champion. The Southern Savior, John Schuyler. And as John Schuyler retains that PWI Ultra J Championship, like you said it, who is Mr. PWX match? John Schuyler versus Ethan Case. It'll be Rise of a Champion 14 tomorrow. What kind of shape is he going to be in as we get to the Cabarrus Arena?